Tomorrow, Monterey County will have a new sheriff. So tonight, we are taking a look back at the legacy of Steve Bernal, who is retiring after eight years for, with serving the county. In an exit interview you'll only hear on KION, our Scott Rate sits down with the outgoing sheriff. When I announced a year ago that I was retiring, I was wondering if I was going to have second thoughts this time, you know, this time around, this time of year, and I really don't. Uh, it's the best decision. I've, uh, you know, we've accomplished a lot over the last eight years. Let's talk about some of the accomplishments over the years here. As as sheriff, if you look back and you could pick two or three of your biggest accomplishments, what would they be? A lot of the little things, I think, when I became sheriff, we had uh, we had a shortage of patrol vehicles. Um, you know, we were waiting for other deputies to come in so we can have a vehicle to go out and patrol. Uh, we had probably about 15 cars sitting out in the parking lot, brand new cars sitting out in the parking lot that didn't have the lights and sirens or radios in them. We didn't have the funding to put them in. So now we have uh, funding available to where a car, when it times out, we rotate that car out of the fleet and then we have a new car waiting for them to, to replace it. Uh, we did a similar program with our radios. We had a, over 270 high definition cameras in the older part of the jail. Uh, we added uh, registered nurses 24-7 uh, in the facility. Uh, it's a safer facility now than it was years ago, um, especially in the, in the new jail expansion that we have. So it's, it's little things like that that, uh, that uh, you know, we, little victories. Biggest challenges is uh, trying to work with, for me it was trying to work with the Board of Supervisors to be real honest with you. To ask you about that, yeah. And uh, you know, it, it's been a challenge with me, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's no secret that, that they censured me a couple years ago because of a conference we had here. As soon as the Big Sur, the day the Big Sur Marathon moved out of town, probably a good th 350 to 400 people came into town for the Sheriff's Conference. Right. Spent well over hundreds of thousands of dollars here into the economy yeah. and the Board of Supervisors censured me for for employees that I used that they didn't think I needed here at, at the conference. You think it was a political stunt on their part? The Board of Supervisors? I think so, yeah. yes. What was their motive? What was their reasoning? I don't know. I don't know. Um, when, you know, I I accepted it. If, that, if, that, if that's what they want to do, they, you know, if they want to censure me for that, fine. It's, it's a piece of paper that says that they didn't approve of what I did. I think, I think they figured it up somewhere in the area of $20,000. Right, that's what I heard. And we brought in hundreds of thousands of right. dollars into the economy. Right. And so, then a, a supervisor goes out a month later and gets a DUI, and we hear nothing from the Board of Supervisors about somebody who commits a misdemeanor. Any regrets? Looking back on your time here? No regrets. None. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's little regrets here and there, but for the most part, you know, when you look at the big picture, there's, no, I'm glad I did it. Yeah. I, I, like I said, I think we accomplished a lot. We got a lot done. We done, did a lot of positive things. What would, I guess, your message be to the folks uh, who have worked for you for so long here? You know, I'm just, I'm proud of the, I'm proud of the work they've done, um, the people that come and work day in and day out. I've had a good run here at the Sheriff's Office. And tomorrow, Tina Nieto is expected to take over as the new sheriff of Monterey County. In two weeks, a public swearing-in ceremony will be held during the Board of Supervisors meeting.